here. All right, let's hurry and look into the connection between those two. Over there. Looks like those girls are in the track and field club. Oh, hey, that uniform? Isn't that the same one that the senpai from yesterday was wearing? Yeah, it really is. We should try talking to them. Um, excuse me. Hmm? What do you guys want? We're trying to find a certain someone. She wears a hat, has short black hair, and she's our senpai. That sounds like Sayuri, right? Sayuri? Look, she's over there. She's our track and field manager. Oh, there she is. It's her. So she's the manager of the track and field team. Yeah, but why would you be the manager if you're good? I think she like lost her skill. She just asked to be the manager rather recently. She asked? Yeah, although we don't know why, it really surprised all of us. What was the reason? She wouldn't tell any of us, even when we asked. Anyway, Sayori was the fastest one on the team, like S rank. Wow, that's crazy good. Yeah, she was on her way to beating the record. Maybe she quit because of that pressure. That's what's being said. No way. What are you guys doing? Huh? Who are you guys? They were asking about you, Sayori. Me? Whatever for? Excuse us, we were just chatting. That's fine. What do you want to know about me? I'll cut to the point. Yesterday, you met with Shinosuke in the park, right? You saw? Yeah. Where are Shinosuke's classmates? Yesterday, we were looking into him. Well, that's... Nothing happened. Nothing happened? Yeah, nothing really happened. Hmm. But how can you say that when we saw him give you money? You saw that as well? Yeah, and we also noticed how badly you reacted to it as well. Do you mind telling us what's going on with you and Shinosuke? Going on? What do you mean? No, um, I didn't mean to imply... Then perhaps Shinosuke hurt you? I mean, he definitely looks like a dangerous Yankee. Maybe he tried to get you to accept the money yesterday as a way to keep you quiet. You're wrong! Why would Shinosuke hurt me? Then why did he try to give you money? That's... Maybe to keep you quiet? It's okay. Whatever happened, the occult club will keep you safe. Stop trying to guess what happened. You guys don't understand Shinosuke at all. Shinosuke's... I'm sorry. I... I have to go. Hey, wait! Leave me alone. She got away. What just happened now? Well, it's very evident that something indeed did happen between those two. And if we go on what those teammates said, 
it would make sense that Shinosuke injured her somehow. Yeah, but we still can't be sure. But what is up with that Shinosuke guy? Yesterday, we also saw him crying and apologizing and trying to give that money. <laughs> Those two are really crazy. Yeah, agreed. It looks like we have no choice but to talk to him about all of this. All right, let's head out then. And then, hey, it's time. That voice. The doppelganger trial is about to begin. Since the trial is starting, we're bringing you back to the Zestable prison. Huh? Uh, already? But we need more time. We still don't know anything about this doppelganger case. Too bad. Time's already up. Perhaps things will clear up during the trial. No way. Well, come on back. Time for the trial already, huh? Looks like we didn't have that much time left. But we just needed a bit more time to get at least a hint about Shinosuke. Hey, hey, stop your complaining. You know the trial has to start eventually. Wow, how irresponsible. Anyway, please do your best this time as well. All right, let's begin the doppelganger trial. All right, let's quickly summarize things. In this case, we can't afford to get it wrong even though we don't have much evidence. This time, the doppelganger is Shinosuke, right? Yeah, that we know for a fact. And after catching him in the act. But we still don't know why he committed the act. Well, well, there had to be a reason. First of all, we need to understand this case. Initially, we heard the rumor of Yankees being attacked. After getting some testimony, we saw the tiger for the first time. But the truth is, it was just Chinosuke in tiger-like clothing. Although that is an odd point to focus on. What matters is that he was crying and apologizing while he attacked the Yankees. Yeah, we still have no clue why he did those things. Even though it happened right before my eyes, I don't get it any better. The fact that he was saying he was sorry while crying made the whole thing so much weirder. Yeah. And while we're on the topic of weird points, there's one more thing. The connection between Sayuri and Shinosuke? We saw the two of them yesterday night meeting in the park. At first, everything seemed all fine and dandy. But then Shinosuke started crying and apologizing and tried to give Senpai that money. Then she started crying and got mad and left. When those two were talking, even though we saw everything, it was very confusing. What happened between those two? Yeah, we need to see it all over again. Anyway, during our questioning, we might have to be rough. Yeah. Alright, looks like you guys are good and ready. Well, let's begin the third vegetable trial. We're going to do the questioning part a little bit differently today. Um, so there are kind of just random questions kind of sprinkled throughout, but I'm just going to be showing you guys the main questions that make the doppelganger shake. 
it's the one that's with the big red letters. So there's three of those because there's three levels, I believe, and then we'll answer. So let's just hop into it. You hurting the Yankees is related to Sayuri? Is the reason Sayori became a manager is because she was hurt? So there's actually only two levels because there's nothing greater than level three. So we are just going to answer the question. Or we're gonna answer who the doppelganger is. So Shinosuke felt guilt for what happened to Sayori. For this reason, he hated being a Yankee just like the ones who had hurt Sayori. Sayori's legs were injured and she was unable to participate anymore. That's why For his revenge, he tried to find those who hurt her and hurt them. Hi guys, I just wanted to say a little something real quick. Um, I'm sure as you probably know by now, YouTube has just announced a new running ads on all channels regardless of monetization policy. And as you know, um, you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours to be able to be considered for monetization. So this probably doesn't apply to those of you who are watching this, but if you haven't already subscribed, that would help me out a lot. I think it's really unfair that YouTube can put ads on work that they did not make themselves. So if you want to help me out and you want to support me, uh, please subscribe. And that's all. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later.